These cartoons know how to lampoon. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cartoon shows with the best parodies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the cartoons who frequently parody other media, as well as other parts of pop culture, and do it very well. Peter! You got a pink slip at work? You think that's bad? Remember the time I got a salmon helmet from Muhammad while wearing a toga? Coming, Muhammad! Number 10, SpongeBob SquarePants. I just can't take the games! They're tearing me apart! He may live in a pineapple under the sea, but SpongeBob, as well as the other residents of Bikini Bottom, seem to have a hard line to humanity's popular culture, or at least their writers do. You're tearing me apart! While there are plenty of blink and you'll miss them gags, such as paraphrasing quotes from classic films like Rebel Without a Cause, some episodes are based entirely around parodying their source material, like the Karate Island episode that's basically just Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon. I'm ready to be King of Karate! In other cases, there are characters that parody others, like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy being takes on Batman and Robin. Uh, Mermaid Man. Yes, Barnacle Boy. We're not in the invisible boat mobile, are we? Uh, nope. Number nine, The Fairly Odd Parents. The adventures of a boy named Timmy and his fairy godparents, The Fairly Odd Parents features a magical host of references and parodies of things throughout pop culture. It's Walt's kidney! Hello. These usually consist of thinly veiled caricatures of characters, stories, and even real people with the names slightly changed, like All My Biceps, Walt Kidney, or Sylvester Calzone. I'm here with award-winning actor and filmmaker Sylvester Calzone, here for the annual Dividends Film Festival. Uh, thanks, Jet. Timmy is also quite into superheroes, so there's plenty of opportunities for parodying that genre, from recurring original character, the Crimson Chin, to spoofs of groups like the Justice League. Hey, you're a hero now, that's what heroes do. You ready to stop Vicky and save the world? I am now! Number 8, The Venture Bros. Primarily concerned with the titular brothers, their failed scientist father, various bodyguards, and a gigantic supporting cast, The Venture Brothers is one enormous pastiche of adventure cartoons like Johnny Quest and superheroes, grounding the genres in a somewhat realistic setting and showing the consequences such lifestyles have on people. And this dog in talks, man! Think these guys have a screw loose hanker? Copy that. No, no. Sonny killed you. I'm telling you. Like they're ghosts! Besides the broad strokes, there are more specific parodies too, like a dark take on Scooby Doo, or a supremely creepy amalgam of Batman and Superman, voiced by Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman himself. I wish I could barbecue, but it's just not a good time. The Venture Brothers lovingly mocks many bits of pop culture, but it also creates its own mythos out of them to form a unique kind of parody. Oh, hey, um. You think maybe you could, you know, put in a good word with Batman for me? Get out of my sight, of solarium! Number 7, Reboot. The inhabitants of Mainframe may appear stiff and awkward by modern standards, but there's nothing lacking about their ability to parody other works. Alright, make it rush! Let's get busy! Given that it was the first fully computer animated cartoon series, and it's setting inside a computer, it only seems fitting that Reboot references several computer games, such as Doom. I mean, what kind of sick creature gets enjoyment out of playing this sort of game? However, the innovative show also drew on a multiple of other pop culture figures and shows in its parodies, which often took the form of games that featured heavily in the plots, such as those parodying Power Rangers or Mad Max. Okay, let's do it. Black Beetle Turbo Pinscher Force. Number 6, Animaniacs. This animated variety show had some of the cleverest and most subversive writing on TV in the 1990s, and that includes its parodies. Forget about it. That bird's a nobody. Yeah, and we were somebody. The show's writers managed to get away with parodying surprisingly adult material that went way over kids' heads, like Apocalypse Now or Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. Constellations, planets, moons, and stars, and still the universe extends to a place that never ends, which is maybe just inside a little jar. While one-off parodies were common, Animaniacs also built recurring segments around parody characters, such as the Goodfeathers trio, who were based on the three leads from Goodfellas, or the diabolical brain of Pinky and the Brain, who was a 
appearance and mannerisms are essentially just those of actor Orson Welles. Uh, who is, uh... Five seconds. I, um... Who is, uh... Two seconds. Who is, uh... Pinky. Number five, Robot Chicken. Parody is the bread and butter of this stop-motion sketch comedy show. Welcome to the Walking Dead Museum! Once our entire species faced extinction in an event known as the Walk Apocalypse. Robot Chicken features at least a dozen parodies in a single episode, as most of their sketches focus on lampooning some facet of pop culture, with common targets being superheroes, cartoons, and anything from the 1980s. I said, Yo mama's so fat, Jabba the Hutt said, Damn! Though the parodies are generally rapid fire and focus on a number of sources, a few episodes have been devoted to spoofing a single subject, such such as multiple specials devoted to Star Wars, or one based on The Walking Dead. Hey Negan, show us how you do that thing. Mm, what thing? That dip, the one you do right after you swing. Number four, Rick and Morty. A dark and twisted show following the titular alcoholic scientist and his grandson, as well as the rest of their family, Rick and Morty delves into some weird sci-fi territory, and it often does so through the aid of parody. I don't know why but the entire security system has shut down. And I'm afraid the exhibits are unlocked. Exhibits? Although some parodies are straightforward and often straight up savage. God damn! Thanks, Noob Noob. This guy gets it. Many of them are used in plots of the episodes, often combining several parodies to create their own spin on familiar stories, such as Jurassic Park meets Fantastic Voyage or Inception crossed with A Nightmare on Elm Street. Jeez, I don't know, Morty. What, what do you want from me? Welcome to your nightmare, bitch! Number 3. The Simpsons Though Matt Groening's other long-running cartoon series Futurama also comes to mind, The Simpsons just won out. Oh, really? I've done too many things to remember one particular TV series. The record-breaking cultural milestone of a series has parodied nearly every major piece of pop culture from the 20th and 21st centuries over its long time on the air. Monterey. What's it called? Monterey. Once again! Of particular note are the annual Treehouse of Horror anthology episodes, which are almost exclusively devoted to parodies of some kind of horror or sci-fi story or concept. It's Jenny! Don't! David Letterman! Hi, David! I'm Grandpa! Don't! While it can be argued that not all Simpsons parodies are all-out classics, when it's good, it's really good. Number 2. Family Guy While this is another case of a creator's other show, in this case American Dad, also being excellent at parody, Family Guy simply has it beat. Ah! What the hell? Wait, you're a gun? I always thought you were like an eyeball or something. Douche. Renowned for its use of cutaways to tell unrelated jokes, the practice has allowed Family Guy to deliver a huge volume of pop culture parodies and references. Although, like some of our other entries, entire episodes have been centered on parodying particular sources, from anthology stories to themed episodes, like the Star Wars specials. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. All right, now what do I click? Click Preferences. Okay, I clicked preferences. As great as it is at skewering and celebrating other things, though, there's still one more cartoon with better parodies. Well, can I use yours? No reception up here. Regular phone? Lines are down. Pay phone? Roads closed. Email? Dial up. Fax? Paper jam. Morse code? Obsolete. Brain damage bicycle courier? I'm not quite so sure I can find my way. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. As every decent Kids Next Door operative knows, nothing is ever simple. Thus, the brutish invasion had begun. Ah! Again, ah! and again, ah! and again, the girls were defeated by the Beatles. Pegasus? Uh, I don't think it's afraid anymore. Run! Number one, South Park. When it comes to animated parodies, South Park is king. Though other shows have been at it longer and have slightly more frequent lampooning, South Park manages to have some of the most creative and biting parody and satire ever put on television. Wow, this is so cool. Gentlemen, we are off! 
Okay, problem solved. It's taken the mick out of celebrities, politicians, religions, shows, movies, and even people's reactions to all those things with precision strikes of parody that remain timely thanks to their quick output. Peter, I can't believe you invited your old high school sweetheart over for dinner. You think that's bad? Remember when I auditioned to be David Hasselhoff's car? South Park pulls no punches with its comedy, and parody is one of its most potent hooks. Dude, can I go before you? Eat my shorts! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.